Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. I'm really excited about today's unboxing. This package is from Bugs in Cyberspace. And just to let you know, there are no spiders in the box, but there are a lot of legs. So if a lot of legs make you nervous, maybe you better sit this one out. All right. Well, Peter at Bugs in Cyberspace is a really good guy to work with if you want to buy pet invertebrates. I've interacted with him in several capacities. We've traded bugs. I purchased bugs from him. He's purchased bugs from me. So um, I've always had good experiences with Peter at Bugs in Cyberspace. So I encourage you to check him out if you're ever in the market for inverts. He's been doing this for a long time. He knows what he's doing. Here's the heat pack, still warm. And he is really, really good to work with. I am so excited about this. I've been waiting about I've been waiting for this package for a long time. I didn't order it all that long ago, but I've been waiting to order these bugs for a while, you know. I have to it takes a while to prepare for them sometimes. Okay. Now, here's the first item. I'm going to try this food rapashi bug burger with my isopods, millipedes, and maybe some of my other bugs. I use other Apache products and like them. I've just never tried the Bug Burger, but I've heard that isopods love it. Obviously, I've given them other foods that work just fine, but I just want to try this out. So, let's see what else is in here. These are always fun to open. They're nice and taped up. So getting them open can be a little tricky, but. Ooh, Eureka, the first one's open. Let's see what's in here. Aha! Ivory millipedes. I love these guys. These are a favorite at my house. We had a few a while back. I'm hoping to breed them. This is a sexed pair. Peter was kind enough to get a sexed pair for me. He mentioned that they may not be mature yet, but they're sexable when they're pretty young. One of the easiest species of millipede to sex. These are native to Florida and other areas in the southeast. I love their pattern. I hope you're getting an idea of what the pattern looks like here. They're absolutely beautiful in my opinion with the kind of ivory white and then the black markings. I think it's it was Peter on his website that mentioned that they remind him of a backgammon game. If you've ever played backgammon, this pattern looks a little bit like the, the game board. But I love it. I think it's really attractive. And they are pretty easy to keep, pretty active and visible. So they're a great millipede. I have a few other species of millipede right now, but I didn't have any ivories at the moment. So I'm excited to have those. Let's see if there's anything else in this package. Oh, there is indeed. Aha. Okay, this one's going to take a little preparation before we unbox this one. So let's, you can see that text there, transitional, and that gives you no idea what's in here. I know what's in here, but um, Laurelyn, would you hand me the larger box there? Okay, good. Now, this is a precaution. It's always sensible to use a deep sided container when you're unboxing some of these guys. And can I have that larger jar there? Thank you. Okay, this is going to be fun. Let's make sure we can see really well into there. If we can, we're going to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Is that, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay. Oh, nice. Can you see that? I'm going to lift this up just in case here. Come a little closer. This is a Scolopendra polymorpha. Uh, it's called a transitional type because it is, it is one that is somewhere between the brightest color morph and the normal color morph. Oh, it buried itself. We're gonna have to take it back out here. To be careful, I, I love these centipedes. They can pack a little bit of a punch. They, they, their venom is not very powerful, but it is equivalent to that of like a bee sting or something like that. 
So even when this size is capable of, you know, giving a bite that's like a bee sting. So I'm going to carefully set it down in the jar and see, oh, there it goes. See if it will um, crawl out itself. That's probably the safest way to do that. So that's awesome. The, I wasn't sure what size the centipede was going to be. So I purchased this container, this large uh, plastic bin as a permanent home, but I prepared this jar as a temporary home because I could put an adult in here for a while without any problems, but um, a younger centipede would benefit from the smaller jar for a while. Um, and it is a small young one, so I'll just keep it in this jar for a while. Okay, last but not least, we're going to the, the uh, only insect in this in this order. There we go. Okay, this and before we do the insect, we're going to open up the insect's enclosure. Maybe this is all taped up. Be careful and make sure I get it. I don't want to ruin it with the knife. Just got to get through the tape. There we go. Contents under pressure open carefully, it says. Oh, that was not quite carefully enough. That was rather explosive, but that's cool. Um, I do appreciate the warning there. This is a really cool enclosure. It is a collapsible enclosure for various creatures, but as you can see, it's got a zipper, which I think is great. It'll zip open and closed, so you can easily access the inside of the enclosure. It's nice and roomy inside there. It's got this, this mesh that you can easily see through. Um, so it feels really durable. And you can also mist, if you need to, to mist whatever creature you're keeping in there, mist right through the, the side. And the great thing about this enclosure too, is that it's got a viewing window that even though the mesh is very translucent, you can see right through it, it's very nearly transparent. This is even more so. And the nice thing is you can clean this container, it's washable. So you just, you wash it with a little bit of detergent and some bleach and then rinse it out well and air it out and you're ready to use it again. Which I think is awesome. And then of course you can collapse it again when you're ready to store it. So I'm excited about that. Oh, it's beautiful. Can you see that tiny little mantis? Look at that little creature hanging up there. Oh. There we go. This is a giant Asian mantis. And I think this is an L2 or L3, I'm not sure. So it has shed its skin a couple of times and put on some growth, but um, it's got a lot of growing to do. These get a lot bigger than the Chinese uh, mantis species that you can find around here. So I'm really excited to watching this uh, creature grow. It's not going to fit in this enclosure yet, of course. Um, that's going to be a while. So um, I have a smaller deli cup, a 32 ounce deli cup prepared for it. Thank you, Laurelyn. Right here, that's going to be its home for a month or two while it puts on some size. Um, I'll probably put another couple of sticks or things in there for it to climb on. But yeah, we'll move it over and we'll give it a feed. It'll be fun. Thanks for joining me for this unboxing today. I release videos every Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Contents under pressure open carefully, it says. Oh, that was not quite carefully enough. That was rather explosive.